Hey y'all, welcome back to the vlog. We just touched down to LAX. Cruise behind me to include our 15 bags that had to be checked. Last night was uh, was interesting. However, we made it here safely. And right now we're trying to figure out how we're gonna get to the VPC to pick up our vehicle. Our vehicle arrived, I believe, a week and a half ago. So, <sighs> traveling from the airport to the VPC is going to be challenging because um, I don't, the, the USO doesn't open as early as they used to due to COVID. They, their hours are from zero nine to something else. Therefore, we don't know if, we can, if, they, if they have any shuttles available to, you know, accommodate everybody to include our luggage. So I told Anthony, go ahead and schedule a request an Uber to pick you up. Go pick up the vehicle and then come back and then we'll load everything and then hit the road. So if you don't know, we're doing a road trip. We're starting from California and we're going all the way down to Georgia. So we have some stops in between. I don't really know. I know we have a couple of definite, you know, I, I know that we have some stops that we are going to make, but there are going to be some that we might have to pencil in. But for the most part, we've done this three times already. So last time is going to be a charm and we plan to at least go all out this time so anthony he's outside somewhere but i don't know where he went okay well he went to go he went to go find an uber or some or a shuttle to get him to where he needs to be so we're just gonna hang tight here for the most part until he comes back and hopefully it's not gonna take forever um the flight was only four and a half hours it wasn't long so pretty decent LA looks the same. Lot, lots of smog and busy traffic. I just hope we don't get caught up in the traffic later on this afternoon. Okay, so we finally we are finally at the USO. It took a while to get over here because <laughs> our luggage was a real big pain in the behind. We had to find a car because you know the luggage carts at the airport are expensive here at LAX is seven dollars so we actually found one that was not back at its you know primary location so we took that but the hardest part was putting all of our luggage on there trying to cross the street two people trying to carry luggage at the same time then I have his eye so it was a big hassle but needless to say we are finally at the Bob Hope um, USO I remember back in 2014 the building that they're in now was not um, they were not in this building back then so I, I they moved in it's really nice inside the USO is open for active duty military to include their dependents um, as priority but they will of course accommodate you know retirees to include the dependents of retirees so um, it's a really nice place to stop by if you're in LEX or any other airport that has a USO facility so that you all can relax enjoy a snack something to drink watch a couple of um, you know watch some tv but due to covid things have changed slightly so they used to have a rest area where you can nap sleep but they won't they don't have that right now um for us since we're eating we have to be outside to eat not indoors so just some minor changes you know nothing that makes the experience any less than you know what's really going on in the pandemic so right now we are wasting time. Anthony picked up the vehicle, but he is going to go to Home Depot or AutoZone to pick up a hitch trailer, if, I'm, if that's correct. So we can put the additional luggage in the back of the truck um, and haul it instead of putting everything in the vehicle because we don't want our ride to be crammed and, you know, just sour. So we're gonna make adjustments and do that. But yeah, so far so good. Um, hopefully if I have time, I'm gonna go inside. I'm gonna show you guys around just to show you what the LAX USO looks like. How's it, how's your sandwich, buddy? <laughs> and there's Angel with her breakfast foot roll up, fruit roll up and Gatorade. I don't know why. She knows better not to eat sweets in the morning. They did, they had, they had, they had everything that's I not sweet. No, ma'am. Brandon's inside charging his phone. I need to charge mine. I'm on. 
I'm really on 2%. Oh, 1%. Oh, uh, so. Yeah, okay, well, I'm gonna let them finish and then we're gonna go inside. Right now, I'm sitting in the cafe or canteen area. And here are the juices that are available. You have to ask for assistance. But all the snacks, some uh, noodles and things of that nature are all, be all behind there. There's a guy that will help you and get whatever it is you need. And this is pretty much the TV lounge area. So charging stations, lounge chairs. Pre-COVID, you were able to sit here and eat but no more, you have to go outside and do that. And then I'm gonna take you around to the other side so you can see what else is beyond this glass window. So let's walk. If you have luggage, this is a secondary storage area. And let's go down here. So you have a connect room. I guess this used to be where you can, or if you have laptops and things of that nature, you can go and hook up your and use your computer in there. Over here is another TV lounge area. Oh, this is the gaming room, but it's off limits due to COVID. And then here is the movie theater. So I guess today they are playing Lion King. So really nice area to just chill, relax, and watch a movie. And then down here, down this hallway here, is the relaxed room off limits due to COVID. So if you were tired, you want to take a nap, what have you, this was the room where you can do that. This hallway is the family room. So they have three. This is family room A, B, and C. So if you are traveling with your family, of course, you can sit and lounge and just have one private sector to yourself. There's a television for your leisure. Oh, the lights come on. Okay. Um, I guess this will control the room. So if you, I don't know. Okay. So you want to watch TV or watch Apple TV. This will basically control everything in this room. It gives you some privacy, especially if you are a mom that's breastfeeding or you have little kids and you just don't want them to be loud. You can close the door and just have this room to yourself. Now, if all the rooms are taken, then they have a common access area where you all can just sit and watch television. Um, and I guess this is, uh, I don't know what this is. I tried playing with it, but it doesn't really do anything. I guess it's just there for decoration, but that's really it. Oh, see another remote for this room here. So yeah, it's a really nice facility. I really like it. And then now I'm going to take you out to where the outdoor eating area is and that's really it okay so due to covid if you want to enjoy a meal or snack here's the outdoor area to do so so not crowded today is very muggy here in la not as sunny as i thought it would be they said that this building used to be a restaurant i know i mentioned that earlier but i'm trying to give you all a better glimpse of what it used to look like but I'm I'm gonna have to go outside and show you but that's it for the USO I forgot to show you their patch display so people that come to visit the USO they love to leave their pins and patches and you know just to say thank you and things of that nature so let me see if I can find 25th ID. Oh, found it. Right there, 25th. See if I can find another one. My old unit, 13. 13 ARB in Savannah. Oh. oh, Fort Stewart, okay. Where's Fort Stewart? Third ID. There we go. Third ID. But yeah. Nice that they have a collection going on here of all the patches. There's so many of them, to be honest with you. Before I go, I thought it was important that I show you the restroom because 
I think everybody may think like I do. If the restroom is not clean, you don't want to use it. However, this is a very clean and nice, nicely put together restroom. So everything is censored, soap, water. The, the stalls are clean. They even have a shower, a handicapped shower back here. It is off limits due to COVID, but this is what it looks like. So very nice and spacious um, for handicap or just, you know, able-bodied people. You can use the shower whenever it becomes available. And then, of course, you have a little mirror there. So I really like this new building that they moved into. It's certainly a lot better than the last. Hey. Okay, Anthony's back now. We just need to get our luggage and haul it on the back of the truck. This is the hitch that I was talking about so that we can add our luggage back here and we don't overcrowd the vehicle. So just gonna let the kids do that. And then we'll be ready to go. Feels so good to get our truck back again. We had to ship this baby all the way from Hawaii to Los Angeles so we can do a road trip. When I did my first road trip, we were in my Acadia. So this is a lot larger and I think the kids would be a lot more, a bit more comfortable this time around with all the extra space. So we're just gonna figure out how to play Tetris today and make it work. You wanna help Brandon? He's struggling. Hold on, Brandon. Don't put, don't, um. Be careful with the vehicle. You need two people to help. Help. Don't roll the wheel on the car. Lift it up and put it in. There you go. Alright son, with your shoes on backwards. Why you put it on backwards? You ready for this adventure? What adventure? Adventure? Listen. We're going on a road trip. No, I'm going to pass down sea creatures. Must be sea creatures? No, I'm going to ask some sea creatures. Okay. Tomorrow would be an opening day through Sunday, but we're not going to stay an extra day to, to go inside. I was pretty bummed out about that because my whole purpose of coming up here was to go inside and check it out because I was told it was very nice and I love astronomy. Look at that home. Wow. 6.9 million. Good gracious. You know what? We drove through here before because... Capitol Records is on the other side. Yes, it is. Yeah, I'm working nowhere near here. Okay, well, deja vu. It looks familiar. Fire danger is very high today. <laughs> Keep that in mind. Well, at least the smog cleared up a bit. Now it's a lot clearer up here. This morning, the visibility was almost zero. 
couple more miles to go and we'll be at the top. Okay, one mile to go and we'll be at the top, according to what Ooh. GPS has to say about it. Well, that's the Griffith Observatory. Oh my gosh, the two words together. The Griffith Observatory. Oh, you see the Hollywood sign? Where? Oh, there's the Hollywood sign up there. We decided not to pay for parking, so we just did the drive. I'm not happy about that because I really wanted to go inside and today's Thursday, they open on Friday, Friday through Sunday. We did see the Hollywood sign, I didn't get a good shot of that because it was angel had to point it out we all we all missed it <laughs> and she's she was she was the one that saw it so we're gonna go down the mountainside here and then go to rodeo drive because uh anthony wants to go check that out and then and then um see the hollywood walk of fame Anthony dropped this off so we can walk the Hollywood Walk of Fame. You ready? Okay, come on. <laughs> we ain't gonna worry about them. I want to see Michael. Come on, sing to me, Gladys. Come on, baby. <laughs> I finally made it to the Chinese theater. This was has always been on my hit list. Look at it. Oh, it's so beautiful. Look at that. I said letting people in. I wonder if it's an open attraction. I'm not too sure. However, I'm still walking down the Walk of Fame. And the only one I want to look, the only person I want to find is Michael Jackson. That's it, just Michael. I'm a Michael Jackson fanatic. Oh, you found Mickey Mouse? Oh, found him! We just so happen to stop here and I'm looking at the wall and I'm just like, what kind of wall picture is this? Vegetarian and we got ladies on the table like they're a meal and you got one tongue looking like two. <laughs> okay. You got three sets of arms. Three sets of arms. Somebody explain this to me because I am at a complete loss. <laughs> what does vaccines have to do with tongues? <laughs> I don't get it. All right, woo woo! Yeah! Let's see what we see. We got a little push. Heard him. Audi R8 V10. Whoop de whoop. Oh man, look at that's a uh, ghost or a, not a ghost. That's a uh, phantom. No, that's a drop in. I'm sorry, it's a drop in. That's a drop in Rolls Royce. Yep, yeah, Bentley Continental GTS. Oh, no. So our next stop is the Automotive Museum. This is Anthony's piece of heaven. And uh, looks like a pretty cool place. I'm not into cars, Anthony's all about them. So this is our last stop before we head on to Las Vegas next. So I guess we'll go inside and look to see what they have. 
Ooh, look, Zai. Wow, who is that, buddy? Oh, Rashad. <laughs> Where are you going? Ooh, ka chow, ka chow. That's nice. Yeah, look. I see. Let's see what this one is. This is a 1980 Chevrolet G10 van. Genevieve. Yeah, I can't. I can't. Work. Oh, okay. What's the name of that movie? Oh, I, I think I said it. Genevieve. Onward. Okay. Onward. Onward. You see that the weed? That's carbon fiber. The world's carbon fiber. Weed. Over, over a million dollars. Uh, no. Now, what do we have here? Oh, this is the, uh, the Hellcat? No, they said this is the replica that they used for Billy Eilish's performance Daddy. at the Grammy Awards. Yeah, they, they actually. <laughs> <laughs> You said this was the Lamborghini from Fast and Furious. Which one? One, two, three, or 16? <laughs> 2003, 2017. Somehow we ended up in the Discovery Center because now Zai has Legos to play with and we're probably never gonna leave here. Yep, that was a poor design. You have to try it again. We have to make it go all the way down the ramp. Go and to go. Oh, same thing with hers. Uh oh, hers did a funky maneuver. Okay, and here's his eyes. Let's try it again. Uh oh, I made it. Oh, you are okay. Let's see. Pick a car, start. Okay. Let's see, we're going to color it yellow. Oh, nice. And they have a crayon bucket, some color paper, I mean some um, paper to color on. And so much more. So they said this is the parents get a break room. <laughs> Not necessarily because we have to drag them out of here soon. Wow, son, this is like an ultimate playroom for you. Turn on the ignition, right? I don't think your car garage is dead. Oh, okay. Spark plugs. Oh, that's how they work. Oh. Oh. Trust me, guys, I'm learning to uh, <laughs> some of these things. I didn't know function this way. Okay. One eternity later. We're here guys. We finally made it to our destination. We are in Las Vegas. We are now checking into our hotel at the Hampton Inn Suites. At the, it's the convention center in Las Vegas. Oh, that's the name of it. Hampton Inn Suites Convention Center. Something like that. 
And uh, it is now 9.24 at night. We are tired. It took us five hours to get here. We made some stops along the way. Got something to eat. Oh my goodness, I had Chipotle. And let me tell you, I have been missing some mainland style food. Put it that way. I know it doesn't make sense, but it will. Because you all know in Hawaii, it's the same restaurant every single day. We don't have much variety. Um, you know, that's not local. So... I was so happy to ooh we that felt it tasted so good. But anyway, the kids are tired. They're back here. Trying to get adjusted. We got a car full. I'm trying to get this to focus. Um we made it work with the bag, so the only thing that they had to ride beside was the two duffels back here. The girls have their little backpacks in the back. Um but yeah, everybody's tired. Oh, he wants me to let my window down. <laughs> Yes, my um, so we're, we're good. Uh, only thing that sucks is uh, the rooms are not conjoined, so one's 312, one's 324. I didn't know you bought two rooms. I did buy two, but I thought it was gonna connect them. But why not? He they said, can't. When, you go, when you go third party, he said it can't because they already pre uh selected the rooms and stuff like that. So, so are they close to yeah, they're two? close, but I'm saying they're on, they're on the third floor, one's 312, one's 324. So, yeah. Wow, they, I'm not. I'm not okay with that. Yeah, it's a. <laughs> I'm not I mean, okay I'm with not, that at all. You know what I'm saying like, um, well, we can go ahead and unload, and then um, the key for the park garage is over there. Uh, breakfast buffet style from six to ten. They have a restaurant that's open till nine to ten, but on the weekends it's gonna go from I think nine to midnight. He said twenty percent off at the bar. At the bar, um, laundry and a workout fitness is downstairs on the first floor. Pools open and uh, yeah. Okay. So, do you want to unload here or park in the yeah, little? Yeah, we can use the, the dolly. Yeah. Okay. And uh, I don't want to leave nothing on this. No, absolutely not. Because it won't be there in the morning. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Okay. I'm trying to stroke off though. All right. Oh, you heard it. We're checked in. I don't know if I'm going to show you guys the hotel tonight. I probably will because I know. I won't have time to do it tomorrow. We have things planned. I'm looking forward to the festivities. I have some things in mind that I want to throw in the mix because I don't know what Anthony has planned, but I, I have a couple of things that I would like to do as well. So let's go ahead and we're going to go ahead and unload, get situated, and then if I don't show you tonight, I'll show you tomorrow the rooms. And we're going to have us a good night because I'm tired.